Hey guys, I'm Kevin Callahan from the City of Basketball Law. Oh, thank you. Sorry. It's good seeing you guys. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, no, that was great. Thanks. No, Terry. <laughs> All right, um, Landry, if you could just start us with opening remarks from the game. Uh, yeah. Nice win over Ithaca tonight in the yeah. second round of the NCAA tournament. Yeah, um, a lot like it, um, many of our games this year where we're getting teams' best shots. Ithaca was tremendous in the first half. And, you know, we were concerned because they're a dangerous team. Um, I mean, they showed that in the first half, the way they run you around offensively. I think, fortunately for us, they just got a little uh, tired of running with us and also running their offense. And I think that showed in uh, some missed shots in the second half. Um, but, you know, congratulations to them on a great year. And, um, you know, they, they lose three seniors that were big parts in Heinz. We talked to them after the game, congratulating them, and uh, wish them the best going forward. Just for what Nate and Zach, we've been. Later, we talked about this, but getting everybody's best shot, like you just said, yeah. how hard is that? And and is it a challenge that you like and accept? That you you know every time you step on the floor, you're going to get the the opposition's best shot. Yeah, it's exhausting. Um, it's <laughs> something we've noticed for a while now. That just about any team we go out and play has prepared and uh, is is ready to play in their Super Bowl against us takes everything out of us no matter who we're playing and you ask whether or not we accept that we absolutely do like that's that's the reason we were able to win tonight I think I think a lot of guys would agree it's like that adversity all year has prepared us for this moment and the moments going forward yeah I mean we got a bunch of guys on the team that hate to lose like even going back to open gyms five on five games to three like bowling. you get bowling like we went bowling the guys hate to lose no matter what we're doing this team just full of competitors and uh, guys that all kind of just want to win, not just for themselves, but each other. And I think it shows how we play. You know, in those tight situations, how much does the experience, this is your third straight trip to the Sweet 16, play a role? I would say it's, it's everything. You know, these guys, you know, we always say just follow them. You know, they're high language and poise. And, um, you know, then just having been in those situations, both in previous years and this year, late game, you know, needing to get the ball in bounds, no timeouts a few times. Um, just having the poise to execute and uh, do it the right way. And that seemed to be, that's a staple, your poise. How, how do you say poise in those chaotic, frantic situations? Because it, it got a little testy out there today. Yeah, I mean, we just, <laughs> I mean, I think me and Nate at this point have seen every, every possible situation we could see. Um, and we've done it at least once. And so just, had, like we said, having that experience and just, being there, having great guys show us the way before us. Uh, well, now we're trying to show the young guys they're following great, and we're all just coming together and tackling together. Do you guys, uh, or Coach, do you like this new format where you're going to play uh, the Sweet 16? And um, or I guess it's the the eight, right? The Elite Eight. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, right now we're just thinking about next week, the okay. Sweet 16, um, and the format is a you know necessary evil, for lack of a better term. You know, to play the championship. I think all of D3 teams left would love to play in Atlanta with the D1 and D2 teams. Um, but to do it, you just got to you know, lengthen the season a little bit. So um, again, right now, though, we're just focused on next week. You know, we'll find out who we play soon um, and just start getting ready for that team. And then we'll figure out after that. I guess for the players, I know you're like focused next week. And all, but getting to the finals last year, is there a lot of, like I guess, internal not pressure, but uh, yeah, maybe pressure that you're putting on yourselves to get back there and go out as champions. This year's uh, totally new, totally new year, totally new set of guys. Might be the same goals that we had last year, but uh, the experience last year made us better. But it's not, it's not what's driving us now. Yeah. I would say we know what it takes to get there. We know our stuff works to get us there, but there's no pressure at all to. Get there. It's not championship or bust. What is driving? Our, our team spirit, I would say. Just the 23 guys in the room on the team. Just sticking together, having fun. Don't want it to end. And we've said from day one, you know, this, as Nate said and, uh, and Zach said, this, this journey is different than last year. Um, can we just be the, get to be the best team we can be and get a little better each day with getting everyone's best shot or learning from our mistakes? And, um, we just kind of had a, like, let's get better and learn every single day. And, you know, the school will take care of itself.
Yeah, do you have any? Do you think you'll be at home just because of your seat? Or um, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess we would hope so, but we're you know we're anytime, any place, anybody. You know, we'll go. We'll do it. Well, that's what you have been. It's been a great atmosphere for you guys, though, hasn't it? Yeah. And especially, you know, the spring break starting. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. The community. I mean, with our, you know, some of the teams being gone. I know some teams have been here supporting us. Some students, but the community too is just un unbelievable, unbelievably supportive. Um, you know, making it a packed house and really getting into it. <laughs> yeah. Good. Thanks. Right. Congratulations, Congratulations, guys. Thanks. Thanks.